Motivational Monday. And there are some people we want to shout out. There are individuals that support us and encourage us and motivate us each and every day. But in the studio today, we have two guests. One's on the way, and we're going to talk about the business side <coughs> of National Black Business Month and what's happening in our community. But in the studio today, because it is National Black Business Month, I have, check them out, y'all, the Donald L. Dowridge Jr. In the place to be. In the place to be. <laughs> and thank you very much for having me as your distinguished guest you're today. You're welcome. So you're just going to turn around and have a conversation like you're sitting at my dining room table. Oh, you sure I'm welcome in your home? <laughs> <laughs> I say with dining room table. <laughs> So first to our Facebook family, thank you so much for, for tuning in. We are celebrating National Black Business Month and all month long here at In Touch News Radio. We have been, yeah, that's him up there, y'all. He sees himself on the monitor up there, on the camera over here. I'm a star. I don't know how to act. On my camera. Well, that's the <laughs> motto here at In Touch News Radio. It's reality radio where everybody is, is a star. A star. There so you go. There are two stars in the house as he's sitting over here. How do we support each other? What is it that we do? I was in worship um, yesterday, Donald. Shout out to, to my church, the New Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church, on 2511 East Columbus Drive, where the Reverend Larry L. Roundtree II is our pastor. And he was talking to us. He came, actually came out of 1 Corinthians around about the 12th in the latter part of, of those verses. And Paul was talking about contention in the church and the importance of how we are to support one another. And so that theme has been a look call coming in. That theme, So now we're over here on this monitor until this one comes back. The theme was about staying connected in the community. And one of the things, and you're going to appreciate this, I, I, I thought about using this today or stating it today because for those of you all don't know, and we're going to, he's going to introduce himself in a minute. He is a phenomenal dancer. Oh, my gosh. Donald can turn up a party and turn out a party. Well, as my pastor, and some of you blanked out, so you didn't hear the first part of, of what I said, and I was shouting out um, Reverend Larry Roundtree's sermon on yesterday and 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 talking about the importance of us as a community, us as a church family, staying together, connecting the community and staying connected. One of the things he said, and he introduced or reminded us of a great message that came from this songwriter, Al Green. Mm. The song that he used was Let's Stay Together. And I, I see you over here nodding your head. That's Donna, y'all. He's over here nodding his head because if that music was playing right now, matter of fact, if DJ CEO was right, was in here, he'd be looking it up and we would be hearing the, the lyrics in the background. But the message in the song was prevalent to the spiritual message that he was sharing with us. And when you think back to the song and some of the lyrics in the song and, and he's telling us about let's stay, stay together forever, forever. Mm -hmm. And one of the things he mentioned was how we should care one for another. Mm -hmm. And it's that caring in good times or bad times, that caring should be prevalent always. So when it, it's a good time, you're all shouting, you're having a great time. And so when we were talking about caring, we decided to make this show about motivation. So it's a Monday, it's Motivational Monday, and then there, those are individuals in our community that motivate us each and every day. And so we wanna shout them out. As you all know, every day on the show, we've been shouting out however black businesses there are that's representative of today. So today is the 26th, so we are excited to be shouting out about 26 of our black-owned businesses. Mm -hmm. Because on Saturday, that's they the 31st. Might, might, that's the 31st. They may get a chance to see you strut a little bit. Well, if, if you know, if I can come in, first of all, say thank you very much for having me as your guest today. You are welcome. And when you looked at me in reference to Al Green, <laughs> let's stay together, dancing, et cetera, yes. et cetera. Part of the group that I am in is called Soul to Soul. And unfortunately, we lost one of our main members, um, the one and only Miss... Forgive me, <clears throat> well, Cynthia Sherry Gibson. 
She was the backbone of soul to soul, the heart of soul to soul, and we miss her very much. To move on from there, a couple of years ago, we did a show uh, for a fam- for a graduation or what have you, and Intermission came, okay. and what song came on? Al oh, Green, Let's Stay, Let's Stay Together. So there was a rose on the table. I grabbed the rose, and I Uh-oh. jumped up on the stage, Uh-oh. and out of my memory of what I remembered Al Green from doing his thing on Soul Train. Soul Train, 1971. Come on now. <laughs> I got the rose, and I started hopping across the stage with one leg, as Al Green used to do. Oh Let's See, I told we you. want to stay together. Wow. Uh, <laughs> loving me wherever, wherever. Times are good and bad. Happy, I'm sad. Come on now, let's. Now, in saying all that, I like how you said what the pastors say in reference to us. Thank you, thank you. I'm signing autographs after. You deserve that shout out. In reference to what the pastor said, we stand together. As an African-American community, as yes. a black community, you know, I was looking at a piece this morning and where the, the uh, speaker was, was speaking in reference to how long our dollars actually stay in our community. Talk Are you ready for this? All month long. We've, Are you, we've been telling the community all month long. Are you ready for this? I know you. Yeah. Six hours. Yes. Now, if you Six switch hours. that to the Asian community, you ready for this? Twelve months. Those as opposed to our six hours. Now, that is not the glue that keep us together. Correct. When you talk about Black Wall Street in Oklahoma, where it first started out back in the 20s, in the 20s. or a little further back, and they, it, that one strip of that city, how they oh, turned that God. one super queen, turned that into the Black Wall Street. The question lies in my head, here we are, 2019. Mm. And see, if you're a baby boomer, you remember as a child coming up back in the 60s when we had not not just a strip, but we had a the couple of streets, etc. We had the whole community. community. So community. the question now is, where is that and how can we get back there with the true the true purpose, the true passion that, hey, we must somewhere along the line start retrusting. Yes. Retrusting each other enough that we will invest in ourselves. Because if we continue to invest in them, the other, those, we'll never get ahead. We'll always state the, the, the line, quote, where are we going wrong? Where are we going wrong? It still comes back to we are in a position, um, and this community is in a position to do what it likes to do, what it wants to do. And we are making the appeal, we'll continue to make the appeal of supporting our black owned business. Yes. And so the power of 31 actually came out of that years ago in just a conversation. But in 2014, was the first time we actually went on the radio and created, um, if you will, the beginning of a movement that says August is a month that's been given to us, a registered month where many, many states celebrate National Black Business Month. Mm -hmm. But when that month comes around, what are we doing with it? That's the question. I, I, I can think back to, and we had this conversation on a couple of shows, and who made the conversation to Daryl about, and he said, I remember when you and Tammy started the very first Juneteenth celebration years ago. And then he came back and said, and look at now all of the organizations that are starting to now bring awareness and support Juneteenth celebration. So let's come back to Juneteenth. This June, we were here at the 5508 campus. The THAP group and their partners brought on the Black Wall Street experience. It was the entire weekend. As a result of that, the very play that you talked about going back to 1921, when a whole community was black-owned and black rain Mm -hmm. so when you're when you're running a community like that it's not it's not a thought Mm -hmm. it's part of your responsibility it's all you know how to do i grew up in that era not not in in the early no i hope well i hope not now but in my community right here in east tampa and that's why i'm just still so passionate about it 
uh, my uncles owned stores. My family members were all entrepreneurs. So it was important for us every place when our parents or wherever the income came from. My, mm-hmm. my mom was a stay-at-home mom, and our father, um, he died at a very, very young age. But while he lived, he had the responsibility of caring for eight babies. Okay. So wherever that source of income came from, it went right back into the mm-hmm. community. Mm-hmm. You know, I was not here during that great, um, how should I say, Black Wall Street of Tampa. Now the huh? Oh, that weekend? June no, 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 no. I'm talking about back in the days. Not. All right. I was in a place called Baltimore, New York. However, being in Baltimore at the time, I saw, as a child, I saw many black-owned businesses in Baltimore. Good. There's a there's an avenue in Baltimore. It's called Pennsylvania Avenue. Pennsylvania Avenue, back in the days, was a booming avenue consisting of black businesses. Yes. That Pennsylvania Avenue, such as 22nd Street here, yes. such as um, 3rd Avenue in the Bronx and many others, whatever city you might remember, if you're a baby boomer and you remember that black business, has now transformed into their business. Meaning that somewhere along the line, we lost yeah. our greatness in reference to business. So. I'm glad that there is a 5508. I'm glad they are in in these same cities that I I announced that there are uh, entrepreneurs that are interested in upholding the Constitution, if you will, of our blackness. And not just upholding it, but preparing the next generation of young African-American kings and queens to go out and to dominate the market with their own business and training them teaching them how to begin to have the concept in mind that I am an entrepreneur. Yes. But entrepreneur go even further than just the word entrepreneur. Entrepreneur, yes, you own your own business, mm-hmm. but then it goes to how do you control that that business? How do you take that little business that you had, that small mom and pop business, if you will, and you turn it into a business that is accepted by the majors? I was reading a story about a 12-year-old girl young queen who now has her business in target markets yes you see what i'm saying so you have to you think with the story from our e-blast yes so you have <laughs> to think with that, that with that with that mindset mindset if you will with the big picture in mind yes cater to your blackness Correct. but you have to like like hillary clinton said one time you got to bust that glass ceiling <laughs> you got to go through that glass mm-hmm. ceiling you with your business, but you also got to keep in your mind who started, who helped, who who invested in your business to make your business where it is. Meaning, don't forget, your business come from your community. Absolutely. Now he did all of that before we could even get to the introduction. So we've got to get this back. So I hear the music playing in our ears already. We're going to take a station break so that we can say hello to our Facebook listeners. Thank you so much for joining us live. Let's Talk Business with SJC. We'll be back after the break.
Hey, this is Agent Wright, better known as Mr. Clean. You looking for some great barbecues? Come see them two brothers in the grill, located at 423 Virginia Street, Charleston, West Virginia. We got ribs, chicken, pulled pork, brisket, collard greens, mac and cheese, baby. Come get some and get you a nice, smooth cigar. 304-550-4431. That is 304-550-4431. Come get some, baby. The rib man, mama, the rib man. In Touch Radio, where you can listen to a cruising flow of smooth soul and jazz. Today's R&B, a fun touch of hip-hop and gospel. All my music on one station. Giving you a buffet of music, news, and entertainment. We're In Touch Radio. Thank you so much for joining SJC. Let's talk business with SJC. I am here in the studio with, and because it's Monday, it's Motivational Monday, and we are here with Donald DLD Enterprises. That's Mr. Donald L. Dowrich Jr. He's here, and we're going to be talking about motivation. But as soon as I turn this microphone over to him, because you know every now and then I'm going to have to pinch him to, to, to get it back. But he's going to uh, talk a little bit about himself, and we brought him here because it is Motivational Monday. And, in, and then once he finishes with that introduction, there are some businesses, individuals that keep us plugged in. You all do know this is a radio call-in show. The number is 813-444-9588. We'd love to hear from you. For all of those that are on Facebook this morning, are you guys at work? Because there's an awful lot of you. <laughs> yeah, oh, they're shooting. It's your lunch. <laughs> Tell your DJ CEO, you all would not be doing that. You're taking your lunch break with us. No, they better save that for Tuesday after the holiday. (laughs) (laughs) But again, we say thank you. So we want to hear a little bit about this this gentleman. I've known him for a a long time, and I don't know. DJ CEO may have known him for for quite a while. But tell us, we've introduced you as Donald L. Dowridge Jr. You talked about this little famous place up in up in the Bronx. But really, who are you? I am Donald L. Dowridge Jr. I was born with a purpose and a mission before I even knew there was a purpose and a mission on Thanksgiving of 1956 in that little town called Baltimore. Okay, you Mm. a Thanksgiving turkey baby. You know it. Quack, quack. (laughs) So uh, on that week before Thanksgiving, I got to get out of town because they're looking for turkeys and I don't want them to cook me. Oh, my goodness. Who am I? I am fortunate to, first of all, be here with two awesome people that I've had been blessed to know for many years. That is no other than Cheryl Consult, Jay. Thank you. <laughs> Go Thank ahead. You. Go ahead. Hey, man, look, we've been doing each other, you know, for, uh, has it been 30 years? Yeah, it's been oh about that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's been a long time. It's As a matter of fact, um, Cheryl mentioned In Touch with the first Juneteenth celebration. That's right. Oh, yes. And People digging through that. some of my paperwork, I found the first Juneteenth celebration that you all put on, and I was a guest, no doubt. You were, you were, you were, you were, you were. You you know what else we found? Uh, Tam and I found a proclamation from the city of Tampa from Mayor, uh, it was either Sandy Freeman or... I think it was Sandy Freeman. Sandy Freeman. Back then, yeah. I think mm-hmm. it was Sandy yeah, Sandy Freeman. Freeman. So yes. Tammy said, look, we need to bring that back to the office. Absolutely. You know, so people can see that. I said, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be proud yeah, of that. That's what we're talking about. And so when people start with that that idea, that concept, and, and bringing that awareness, you may be the person to lay the groundwork, get it started, yes. introduce it to the community. Absolutely. And then your passion may take you in a different direction, but it started with you guys it did it it did and that's something to be proud of uh she she uh the mayor declared it june uh june 19th as uh as you know it's juneteenth day in the city of tampa i don't remember the year that it was done but it was in 1990 something uh we did it for about four years uh, and we had Donald, Donald you were on the first one I, I, you did you did maybe a couple of them yeah because yeah. i remember presenting you all with a poem i believe it is oh, in a frame them. oh yeah uh, a matter of fact, at the club right down that used to be Do you down here, the on, name um, of it. I don't. It, it, it was called back then. It was called. Um, oh wow! I still have it. You got the poem. I still got the poem. Okay, it's right, in well, my, it's in my book of poetry. The proclamation and the poem. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm talking to two young men today. Uh, at one point, they're going to remember what year it was and what club it was in. Uh, I wonder if it was the Foxhole. It, no, 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 no. It's right here on Bush. That's my husband's club. Back in the day. No, it's on. It's on Bush. 
Yeah. It's on Bush by the interstate. Yes, yeah, it's, it's at Bush in Nebraska. Uh, um, Freeston owned it. He and his family owned it. Okay. They've since sold it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, but well, it was quite a, a spot for some of the years. moment. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's how you met DJ CEO. That wasn't his name. No. Well, well, we met at the post office. At the U.S. Post Service. Oh, that's service. Right. Well, you guys were he was, together. He was, yeah. he was my manager back then at the post office. Yes. Oh, and I got to give right. him kudos because I became a manager with his uh, guidance and I a few others there at the time. So skills? I became, yeah, so I became a manager as Love well. Um, but to go back to who, who am I... Um, I've been in business for 27 years. Um, Congratulations! Yes, 1992. Yes. I still have my my first dollar that I made upon exit, making my exit out of the post office in 1996. Wow! Darryl, I was committed. Stayed there. Yeah, I was committed. Uh, once I left the post office to come out here into the world as an entrepreneur, as a black man going into business. The commitment was is that until my last breath, I knew there was a mission okay. and there was a purpose. Mm-hmm. DLD was developed, which is determined to learn and develop. And, and before I even got into the motivational aspect of it, there was Donald D. Productions. Wow. Donald D. Productions consisted of me uh, teaching uh, core graph, teaching voice lessons, uh, and as a matter of fact, one of my uh, students that I that I worked with back then made it to the Apollo Theater um, awesome. Wednesday. Uh, what is it? Wednesday night, the Wednesday uh, um, amateur, night. That amateur, amateur night. Amateur night. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, from Tampa. She made it to but she didn't win, but she made it. That was the, that's the whole point. She right. made it. Uh, that part, as they say. Now, do you remember her name? But Fel- Felicity. 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 Felicity, yes. Hey, shout out, Felicity. And not only that, I have a nephew who was in one of my groups back then called the Mini Boys. He went on. Uh, he's in California right now, Los Angeles. He went on to work with the likes of, believe it or not, Michael Jackson, Gladys Knight, uh, and the list goes on. Awesome. Rick Ross, You're the man. you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so you know, as I stated, I shift gears from the music world into the business world. And I must go back in 96, I did have a chance to audition for my favorite group, which is still my favorite group, even though the last remaining uh, and founder of the group is still present with us at 78 years old. Uh, still torn. That's Otis Williams of The Temptations. I I auditioned with them. So then came the DLD Enterprises with the motivational aspect on the heels of my son inviting me to speak at his school at Edison Elementary. From there, I hope somebody gets something out of this. I was thinking today, you know, about DLD and my career as a businessman. You know, don't never quit. If it's in you, don't quit. Don't quit. And I say that because somebody told me, Les Brown, he said, keep the, when, the, when the idea come to you, throw it against the wall. If it don't stick, don't give up. Because there's something else that's going to come right after that. It's like a fastball in baseball. Something else is going to come after that one slide down. The next one come, it might slide. The next one might slide. But then that fourth one is going to stick. I can't tell you how many uh, um, ideas that I popped up in my head, such as, are you ready for this? Poetry. uh, I called it uh, the DLD poetry uh, for funerals. Okay, that didn't work. So I came up with another idea uh, and another one. I can't remember everything, but, you know, poetry for hire, um, you name it. And believe it or not, I started doing uh, greeting cards. Greeting cards. Greeting, the DLD greeting cards. I kind of remember that. Uh, Talk about entrepreneurs. Valentine cards, Christmas cards. And believe it or not, I can't explain to the listening audience how many offers, if you will, that I got to do Christmas cards, to do Valentine cards. These are just one of the aspects. Then you talk about all the other opportunities that came within through the real G.O.D. that I didn't question. I jumped on it and ran with it. Even if it didn't work, I Mm. ran with it just Mm. to see how far I can go with it. And then there came 2009, Frederick Douglass. I took on the Frederick Douglass role. And now we're looking at 10 years of Frederick Douglass. 
my writing abilities. 14th book is about to come out, Motivational Moments. Um, before you before yeah. you go there, I want you to take the time, yeah. pat your head, because you, you got a little pressure on you. You know, I don't want you to be under too much pressure, Donald oh. D. Uh, D. Oh, Donald God. D. I, take I, me out I, the pressure I, I, cooker. I, let me get you out of the cooker right now. Uh, and, 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 and catch your breath. Yeah, catch your breath. Take a swallow. <sighs> take a swallow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know what? I feel like... Uh, hey, uh, hey, hey, hey. You James Winston. The- <laughs> oh. In my last year of my contract, <laughs> oh, I got a show. You got a show. Okay, no. You get to catch no. your breath at, at, at this moment. But go ahead, DJ C. Well, you, you know, I can remember uh, Donald D. Do, uh, going through uh, uh, some of the trials and tribulations that he was talking about, trying to see what was going to stick on the wall. Mm. And, and and really, you know, the, 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 the main thing about it is, if you don't throw anything That's on the right. wall, nothing's going to stick anyway. So you have to continue to, you know, throw something on the wall, and then eventually something will stick. Something and and will that's kind of how uh, we've done some things over the past. Is let's let's see what what's going to stick out there. What mm-hmm. can Absolutely. what can last? And, and and I would imagine with you, Cheryl, you've probably done some <laughs> things that you know you said, like, "Wow, man, I can't even believe I did that." But you threw it out there and. You continue to put things out there until you came across DSI Publishing. Absolutely. I mean, that was, you, you're, you're so right. Certainly wasn't something I was looking for. Right. And, and that one was actually thrown at me. Okay. And so that's what you that's caught a, it. You caught, caught it. it. Yeah. yeah. And that's the beautiful part about it. And so, so that you can <laughs> catch a <your> breath here. <gasps> well, we got a break coming up, so he probably this can the catch a breath. I tell you all what, you hear the music coming. We are now at the halfway point of the show. So we'll be back in a moment. Thank you for joining Let's Talk Business with SJC. So we'll say hello now to our Facebook family while DLD takes a break. Dowridge Jr., your motivational guru. This is the DLD Motivational Moment. You got up this morning. You got up this morning. Eyes sneaking open as the feet hit the floor. Got to thank God for the rise this day. The stove perking the smell of nutrition. Get to your destination with planned unselfish acts. Bulletin board read, do you have any to spare? Happiness and understanding. We all have experienced that one phone call. Family member, co-worker, friend has passed on. We don't know our last evening or morning. Get up. Help someone out. Now walk it out. You got up this morning. This has been the DLD Motivational Moment. You can reach out to DLD at DLD28002 at yahoo.com or 813-394-5875. My name is Gil Sampson. I didn't come from a very rich family, and so paying for college would have been very tough. I don't know if I would have been able to go to the college that I went to, and then I don't know if I would have gotten into the career that I am in. So I think Bright Futures has done a lot to shape my life. I got a job as a structural engineer, and I design residential buildings, commercial buildings all over the United States. Because of Bright Futures, I was able to go to college. You know, so many kids just don't even ever get that opportunity. And to be able to do it and not have any debt when I graduated is amazing. And it was all thanks to Bright Futures. Florida has created more than one million jobs in only five years. And a great education connects our students to these exciting opportunities. That's why the Florida Lottery has funded Bright Futures Scholarships to help over 725,000 students attend college. Because every play is for education. The Florida Lottery. Just imagine. When it comes to reality radio, everyone is a star. Shining star for you to see what your life can truly be. On your smooth soul and R&B station. On the World Wide Web. In Touch Radio. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining. Let's talk business with SJC. And we have in our studio today, joining me is DJ CEO. Yes. Part of what we're doing for National Black 
Business Month. 31 and days. 31 days. We've 31 been doing ways. It 31 ways. Spend what? $31. And $31 have been dropped in the studio, outside of the studio. One of the things I love, DJ CEO, the guests that have been coming on the show yes. have been spending their money, Derek Blue, right here right on here. the 5508 campus. Yes, yes, yes. And we appreciate that. You know, they the 31. Do. His, his, I heard you earlier, Cheryl, uh, talking about uh, what the, uh, um, the, the black. The Black Business Month, yes. what what that's doing, not just here locally, but 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 nationally. nationally. And so I appreciate you for uh, pushing, you know, the idea that yes, let's do this. We need to do this. And so this is our second year doing it, yes. and it's by far not our last. We're going to continue to push the Black Business Month. Uh, we're going to continue to push uh, 31 ways, yes. 31 days to spend 31 dollars or more, and, and, or more <laughs> 310, 3,100, 31,000, 310,000. We want All you to right spend now. that kind of money right here. As a matter of fact, the 310,000 will help uh, that. Uh, uh, finish uh, paving the parking lot. It'll help that finish to to uh, uh, building out the building garage, out the, the, our, uh, event the gar- our event center. And so three hundred ten thousand dollars will go a long way right here on the campus of fifty five oh eight. So I know we got some big check uh, uh, writers out there that are listening <laughs> right now. So just come on down here and write the check out to Derek Blue because he's waiting on you so that we can we can do more of of spending money in our community. For, for us, by us, and with our own dollars. So I and appreciate you doing that. And it'll stay here. And sure. thank you so much. I see you pulling so some you money need, out. So you need 31 more All right. Well, five, a ten, and a one. of these. <laughs> yeah. okay. But listen, listen, DJ CEO, he is so excited. Now, for those of you that want to write that check for $3,000, for $30,000, for $31,000, you need to write that check out to the FAP group. 310000 Now, I tell you what. If you we, write it out to we, Derek be, Blue. If you you know you, because you could be under budget constraints and you can't do you can only do three hundred thousand we'll let you go with the ten thousand but just make sure. I love it. <laughs> well, the whole idea is so that when you all come out here, you'll get to to two of the businesses that's going to be out here, and you we we're, we're global. So for those of you that cannot come and join us on Saturday the thirty first, listen. We have been shouting out businesses that are online. Yes. Yes. You can spend your $31 or more with an online business. You can go to any of our Facebook uh, pages. Mm-hmm. Let's see. In Touch News, In Touch News Radio, and now YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, we're, we're live on you. We're streaming on YouTube we're streaming. right now. We're streaming awesome. on Facebook awesome. right now. So tell them, tell we them have where a, they need we to go. We have a dual platform. You can go to In Touch News uh, Radio uh, on YouTube. You can go to In Touch News on Facebook. And see us there streaming live right now. And you as awesome. well, we prefer you to go to intouchnews.com because we, you can see us there. You can hear us and see us. See all of us. Yes. Yeah, so if you, if you choose to just listen to the audio, click on the live on air button. Uh, but if you scroll down, you'll see uh, the the video portion of it. So we we just I we're excited it. about it what we're doing. And also. Uh, in, in, in the coming uh, uh, days, you'll be able to go to the archives of, of In Touch News uh, uh, on, on the website and see all of uh, Cheryl Cousseau's shows uh, uh, dating back to who knows how long. You'll be able mm-hmm. to click onto the link and you'll be able to view uh, the past show. So we're, we're actually uh, just a few days away from that. We've got Esteban awesome. here uh, with us is going to be uploading those those shows. And so we're really excited about that. You got a call from Gwen Webster uh, Young lady, it's on your phone. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> 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 These smartphones, they got to be in front of your you, face yeah, you in order be on for it. you to, to be able to see it. Yes, can and, I say, um, can I bring no, something before, to the... Okay. Before you say anything, before you, know, you say, he, we got you on a break. We got him on a break, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before he says anything, there are some individuals, and, and so many of you partner with them, Every morning, you're receiving text messages or your Facebook posts. And I just want to take this time out to say, to shout out to Terry Parker Rowe. I see mm. you on the page. I see you both on, on her page. Yes. And she, each day, she gives us a scripture. Mm-hmm. And along with that scripture is an amazing story. Sometimes the stories are relatable to us and where we are. And sometimes she speaks to us that day with a message that we need to hear so terry parker rose shout out to you i believe her message today was christ-like character think about this christ your christ-like character is your best defense 
one of your best defenses. So shout out to Terry Parker Rowe. And then there's Rosemary Dixon. Now, Candy Lowe is, oh, she just stepped in. We talked her right up. So if you are a part of Candy Lowe's Black Business Buzz, then you also know Rosemary Dixon. Now, Rosemary provides us every morning with a scriptural reference and a phenomenal story that helps us to keep our day going, keep our lives going, and they meet us right where we are. Mm -hmm. And then we want to shout out Glory Jean Hobbs Thomas. She, too, is doing the same thing. Her message today was, be ready. You never know when you're going to be called, or you never know when someone's going to need your help. So we had to quiet Donna for just a moment so that we could shout them out. We told you all that we had another guest coming in on the the, uh, back half of the show, back end of the show. And there's so much. When people say there's nothing happening in the Tampa Bay area, there's nothing for us to do. Someone was asking, where can we find black business? Candy, we've been out here for how long? Telling people about black owned businesses. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> many, I'm many. I'm going to turn this around to Let Kenya. me tell you. First, welcome. Let's give you a applause. <laughs> Woohoo! Thank you so much, you are welcome. Cheryl Cuso. Um, you are an so honor, welcome. sister, to get a call, a text, an honor. I never forget. And you may not remember this, but I never forget getting a call from you, and I was standing in the Harbor Club. Oh, my goodness. I do remember. In the restaurant. I remember. Where the phone would sit, and it was a call from you mm. about the Black Business Bus Tour. Right. You were and just pulling the group together. Yes, you needed ma'am. some help and never some support. And I said, girl, you that, got me. That, that, I never forget it. So when we talk about black businesses, mm. supporting black businesses, I remember when... I remember our whole ad in the DSI Black Pages, putting it together and trying to get us together to support black businesses. That was Rocky. We have to give that shout out to Rocky Cuso out out in L.A. Out making it happen. The big events, pulling businesses together. The huge networking events we would do on, I mean, one and Remember the one? We did the Harbor Club, but remember the one? You and I, we were, but we didn't sponsor this particular event, but we were at... Um, I was going to say the Glacier Museum, but the um, downtown Ebor City. We did City. something in the, at the, the aquarium. aquarium. That's yes. what I was trying to think of. That was huge. Oh, man, that was so nice. But wait, y'all, I'm going to take history. the mic before Candy. This is what I'm going to help her remember. We were at the Harbor Club. Yes. Hey, Miss Sarah. And Candy said, sure, you got a lot of work to do here. You having your event here? I said, yes. We came in yes. with mops, mm. buckets. Yes. yes. You said... I'll paint. I'll help paint. Mm. We painted the bathroom. Wow. The bathroom. Oh, my wow. God. That but that's hard. community. But made it happen. Instead of going to some. That's right. Uh, uh, Another know, venue. We put we that put money put where. That, that's right. We Back put our two. money. We put our time, our talent, and our treasure. Yes. And that's what community is all yes. about. Yes. And also, you, I know you remember these young guys that started first Friday back then. Yes. Sean Girl, Woods please. and those guys, they yes. did the same thing in that space that's over right. there. They, they, they made it happen. We did. We hung drapes wow. everywhere. Yes. We covered furniture. <laughs> we worked mm. for days. Before we allowed the community to come in, and all we basically did was celebrate black businesses. And, and that's a beautiful part about it. And so having motivational Mondays, what God has for you is for you. And when that passion is put in you, no one is going to stop you. We may take a break. We may have to regroup. But when it's on you, when that's your purpose, you've got to mm-hmm. move. You've yes. got to move. And thank you, Cheryl, for you're so many years Make of sure supporting you're in and uh, pushing Pushing. and the text messages every now and then because you never know uh, uh, family that sometimes you never know where people's spirits are and they may not have that drive and push to keep pushing but when someone thinks about you that would say you only call me because I know you were thinking about yes. your old man. Mm. Yes. And I always think about that when I get that text every now and even from Donald. He'll send you a text mm-hmm. out of the blue. Encouraging and, you. and Yeah, and we need to continue to do that. I want to believe that Tampa Bay may be leading the whole country. I heard you say that. And I supporting agree. black-owned businesses. But we got a, we got a thing going here in our mm-hmm. city. We do. 
Yeah. And it takes all of us in order to make that thing happen. Since we're you're streaming live, I'm streaming live. Are you in view? Because yes. I can't see right now. I want to make sure. And here, here's what's important. And we we said this on a, on a show before. We're on the campus of In Touch News, our own black radio station. Correct. I'm sitting here in this studio with a show called Let's Talk Business. But at 717 in the mornings, who do we hear from? 717 AM. I don't even drink coffee. But look, Hot here's my cotton. cup. <laughs> here's my cup. Whatever you want to put in your cup and sip at 7. 17, we hear from. Thank you. you so much. The Black Business Bus Tour at 717. Uh, there's a couple people that uh, kind of got what the what the deal was with it. If you're watching morning news, a lot of times, uh, morning news, local news, the commercial comes on about 717 as well. And if I'm able to grab you and keep you from <laughs> yeah. going back to yeah. the local news, I'm going to give you the news and the All weather right. and tell you where to go and tell you to support black businesses that's right. and uh, events yes, causes yes yes and that's so very very important and i know you're bubbling over because we quieted you for just a moment no, you I'm calm, the cool, collected. you calm cool and collected but listen this is what's important because it takes the entire village on, we were at WTMP on last Saturday, and one of the things that happened is you called in, um, Candy. We were talking to Diane Hart. We were also on the show with um, Love Dorsey. And what we were saying is what happens when people talk about the weekends, but there's something going on. All so weekend. when we come back from our commercial break, we want to hear about um, tea and conversation. We want to hear about every weekend. There's something for you to do. If you're not going to the brick and mortar, by golly, we're bringing them to you. Yes. In different ways. And it takes all of us to As make a it community. happen. Well, we're going to take a break from the live show. Thank you all. And we're going to have an opportunity to say hello to our Facebook family. So tune in in just a minute after the break. Hi, this is Dale Day. Join me every Monday at 7 p.m. for Jazz at Miss Connie's House, bringing you the smoothest jazz and the coolest guests right here on In Touch Radio. Dowers Jr., your motivational guru. This is the DLD Motivational Moment. One darn second. America since 2017 is suffering from a serious hiccup. 9-11 is seriously overused in a distasteful manner. Every day the cops are calling on an innocent, innocent person of color. It amazes me that America has come down to this. A person of color becomes a person of interest. Waffle House, the dorm, Starbucks is a few. This is not the lunch counters, sit-ins of the 1960s. 2019 harassed simply for being black and proud. Hold on one darn second. This has been the DLD Motivational Moment. Pre-order my new book, Motivational Moments, at DLD28-2002 at yahoo.com or 813-394-5875. In Touch Radio, where you can listen to a cruising flow of smooth soul and jazz. Today's R&B, a fun touch of hip-hop and gospel. All my music on one station. Giving you a buffet of music, news, and entertainment. We're In Touch Radio. deal with it so we'll let you do that and then we'll come back and hear from candy low well if i are we on now yes we are live if i can before i go into my little spill i also want to shine a light on candy low yes saying that candy it has been i told you on the phone it has been a pleasure 
to be a, a bus captain and yes. just the mere fact of of being there with Mona Judge and yes. Miss Dolores uh, Grayson. Grayson and all the wonderful people that were on our bus. We went from bus number one yeah, to bus number bus two. Number However, all the people that were on the bus and all the people who came out to join in the, the Black Business Tour, when it was all said and done, Everybody had a grand time yes. at, at discovering how many black businesses that we actually have here in the Tampa Bay area that they had no idea of prior to going out on these buses. So I, here live, I want to take my hat off and, and bow to you and just say thank you for allowing me, little old teeny tiny me, to join in and be a part of, and a bus captain to be a part of. I'm, I'm still waiting on us to come out number one, but uh, that's a different story. <laughs> and, and, and that's okay, because as, as you said that, I was thinking when we were on the show talking to, to Diane Hart, and she was saying, and one of the great compliments that she gave Candy was that you have taken her to some places where she has never been before. Mm -hmm. You've introduced her to some businesses that she didn't even know existed. That's right. And I was sitting there, and I, we were talking after the show, and I thought, okay, well, instead of getting three tickets, we need to have the power of 31 bus seats on the bus. That's what, 50? How many seats are on the bus? Uh, 50. 50 seats right, are 50. on the bus. So I'm going to shout out to the Power of 31 viewers and listeners. If you have not gotten your ticket yet, we're going to get with Candy after the show, and we're going to be looking for the Power of 31 bus. Enough say it. So Back if, to you. In reference to 31, we as blacks, starting a business, thinking of a business, have an idea of a business, 31. 31. Just put this in your head, 31, even if you haven't reached the age of 31, put this in your mind. Yeah, because I'm 28. When you, when, when you talk of, think of 31 black, know that there is a purpose for your 31 to move forth. And as you move forth, remember, take the G-O-D with you, 31, right. and then just imagine when you get your first $31, that you that's an opportunity for more doors to open because yes. now you start to meet more black businesses, 31, that will turn around and invest in you and say, hey, let us help you up to the next plateau that's of right. your business. But first of all, going back, 31, one, you got to believe in yourself. First of all, when that dream come to you, you got to know that it's, it's more than a dream that you went to sleep for eight hours. You got to turn that eight hours into a reality, 31. Now, when I began back in the days, I started reading this book here, Dennis Kimbo. I don't know if you can see it. All right. It says, Think and Grow Rich, a Black, black choice. choice. Daily motivation for African-American success, including uh, inspiration and famous African-American achievements. It says, who are we? We are innovators. Who are we? We are inventors. Who are we? We are teachers. Who are we? We are business owners. Who are we? We are more on the upper scale than we are on the lower scale. You just have to, 31, recognize that 31 don't start at 1. You got to build up to 31 to know how great you are to get to what? 62. Yes. Yes. Because 31 and 31 mm, equals 62. Right. Oh, wow. That's my age. 30, 62. But somewhere along that 31, all right, you got to team up with great people such I, such that I am sitting in between right. and DJ Daryl yes, Johnson, all right, that 31 will help you to coerce and tie in. Notice, tie in together and say, we are family. That's right. Let's stay together. Let's yes. stay together, 31. <laughs> but we can't connive and we can't turn our backs on because, look, we don't always disagree, but you got to know how to disagree to what? Agree. To agree. And right. sometimes you might walk away still in disagreement, but in the bigger picture, how can I help my brother? How can I help my sister to continue to strive to bring 31 into success? <laughs> of being it. greatness because look we only here for a second and one day they're going to talk about you like the pastor said this weekend i'm glad i'm not standing here to to make up a story right. or to make up a story or make this person look good that's right so with the black mm -hmm. business tour with uh cheryl Casso and the dsi magazine we don't have to make up stories because we they don't. are proven 31 yeah. what is your business going to prove what opportunity are you going to share and how can you bring the opportunity so others can jump on board and All believe right. in you as you there believe in yourself let's stay together 31 yeah. i'm done
All, All right. right now. Thank you. We appreciate what you said, and we're going to take the 31, and we're going to pass it on because – we're asking you to bring your $31 here on August the 31st, and then we're going to turn to September the 21st, and we want you to bring your $31 or more. Mm-hmm. So now we're going to hear from Ms. Candy Lowe. So you have it, girl. Go, girl. Thank thank you so much again, Cheryl You're and, and Donald, Donald Daldridge. You <laughs> topped the town. Now, that was high cotton there. High cotton. High cotton. 31. Yes, Yes, the Black Business Bus Tour uh, Tampa Bay is scheduled for September 21st. Right. We'll be staging out of the NFL Yet Center, which is 3310 East Lake Avenue right. on the corner of 34th and Lake. And we've gotten lots of parking spaces in the area. We've been awesome. talking to people that are wanting us to park because they okay. believe in the cause as well. Uh, our buses will be leaving out. We're going to leave out about 15 minutes later uh, this okay. time, so we give a little few more people uh, time to get there uh, because we have to start on time. We rent right. the buses, mm-hmm. and we don't want to have to pay a late fee and all that. So we want everyone, you can start coming out at 8 o'clock. Awesome. Be ready to get on the buses no later than 9 o'clock. Buses leave out at 930, and we return back about 1 o'clock. Uh, we have we found uh, six new businesses, awesome. uh, a spa. Ooh, that's a shout out. Yes, we we found another spa. Awesome. We found another um, men's women uh, uh, dress shop, accessory shop. There's a guy that was over in the flea market for quite yes. some time. He called me. I'll give you that information, Cheryl. <laughs> he um, he just opened up a spot as well. We have a new spot over on Florida Avenue. So we found six new small six businesses, businesses that awesome. folk that have stepped out on faith and mm. believing that they can do it. It, it is so support. important to believe, yeah, that you can do it in faith. And I got to go back to Kay's Kitchen because <laughs> I've been over there four times since she had her grand opening and I'm there about an hour hour and 15 minutes and the people never stop coming awesome. in Constant so traffic. we yes yeah, so we want to do that at all businesses I encourage everyone when you're out and you're at a business right. take a picture of it put it on Facebook let everyone on your di- uh, timeline let them know where you shopped at today. Let them know where you went out to eat at today. Absolutely. Even now, those things right there, because there's a couple spots right now that everyone are flocking to for mac and cheese and chicken. I don't even want to say the name. I, I was about to say the same uh, oh, thing. Oh, no, no. Well, I won't say the name, but mm-hmm. we have so many great spots right here in our city right that if we can get just a, a 20 of them today will make a difference mm. at those yes. Those spot that have mm. great mac and cheese as well. She and, has great everything. Oh, everything. And so we encourage everyone. To, uh, this has been an awesome month of yes. supporting black it businesses. It's I had wearing a, us out, but it uh, Oh, <laughs> yes. And on the weekends, I mean, there is, like you said earlier, Cheryl, there is so much to do yes. on the weekends. So when people tell me that they're bored, I don't know where they are. But, they are oh, either. my God, uh, Saturday Tea and Conversation. We've been doing Encourage that, you know, you. for uh, 13 years was a spinoff right. for, of the Black Business Bus Tour. Because after the tour, we would just sit around and sit have, around at the yeah, Harbor Club. Yeah, sit around at the Harbor Club and talk about all sorts of stuff. And then eventually we added the political piece. I don't Correct. know if Eddie Adams is responsible for that. <laughs> but, I wonder. Uh, yeah, so we started the uh, uh, TN conversation from the bus tour. And that's every second and fourth Saturday of the month. We want our people to be informed, informed. of candidates that are running for office. We, don't, we do not want to be a month before the election mm-hmm. in 2020 just now meeting candidates where we're going to have all over the city tea and conversation and other folk, Mm -hmm. other groups, other organizations going to be bringing the candidates to our community. And we want everyone to... where we're going to be for tea and conversation. Uh, New spot. No spot. uh, 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 (laughs) Al's finger looking good. So who has opened up their doors to allow us to be there. And they don't even open until 1130. And she lets us come in at 10 o'clock, 
and utilize the facility. And then Beautiful. about 1130, she puts out the lunch menu. Even that right there, when I asked her about that, she said she didn't even have to think about mm-hmm. it. So I, I appreciate Miss Jackie over there. And they also hey, have a, a, a barbecue spot oh, in know. Ebor. Oh, my God. And been there 10 years. I, didn't I know. Even know. I know. We were just there, my husband and I, right before um, right, right before he kind of went under the weather a little bit. Yeah. But that's what I like to eat on the weekend. So we want to say thank you so much to our special guest. Donald Dalridge here sharing Motivational Mondays, but it wouldn't be the same if we're not talking about motivating each other, motivating our communities. 31, as DLD says. 31. Motivating our communities to come out and learn about six new businesses, 31, but then come out on the 31st, and there are going to be 31 businesses right here on the campus of 5508, but listen up so that we stay true to what we we talked about our three spiritual motivators from shout out to and, and she has her own business too you all are reading the the scripture you're hearing about her but mm-mm-mm. rosemary dixon she mm-hmm. has her own business so we get to shout out dixon's home health care services llc thank you so much and she said girl i got your back if you need me call me again we're gonna go down the list sanctuary girl some of them you know majestic plus And we will tag all of these businesses after the show. Financial Education Services. These are black-owned businesses. Paycation Travel. Mm. I am so looking forward to one. KMH Solution Solver. So you got some more businesses to look for. King's Royal Touch. First Step Close Media. Closer Media. USA Products. I markets live and there's another one Tampa talent you need to go on Facebook and find them put your recommendations out there when you're looking for a business just pop it out there and so many different individuals will start chiming in where to go you have choices you have so many choices of where to spend your 31 or more dollars we've got paradise productions Carrie streets you know that one you display systems we've got um let's see there was somebody else oh yes fifi's wash and fold laundry services mm. yes. right here on mlk yes. she's actually going to be a show a guest on the show this week awesome. this week we're going to be talking about her um another one that you know la grind coffee and tea bar LLC. We have LA Owens. You all know that one, but listen, here are some more, and you know this one very well. Ward's Wardrobe. Woohoo! Mm. These are businesses. Blue Sage. We love mm. Blue Sage Echo Boutique. Right over here, just outside Seminole. Seminole Heights. Seminole Heights. Mm-hmm. So that would be Seminole, just outside of, of, of the East Tampa. Love and Light LLC. Dash Coordinating and Marketing, Diva J. Shout out to Diva J, my co-host on the third Wednesdays of the month. What about Fusion Enrichment, LLC? You're going to love this one. You all know this. Well, you may not, but someone was looking for a T-shirt, and she said, where can I find a vendor that can produce a T-shirt in three days? And I love it because Flavored Creations. Sam's favorite grandson. Hmm. There you go. And so we already talked about Ward's robe, and we are going to. Oh, what about Tampa Blue Crab and oh. seafood? Oh, the candy over there! <laughs> so today is the twenty sixth, and we promise to give you twenty six businesses, and we've given you twenty six businesses. You can come out here on the thirty first, where you'll be joined with thirty one businesses. Then we're going to invite you. I'm going to have me a sign up sheet, candy. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to say, I need you all to sign up for the power of 31 seats that's going to be on the 30, on the 21st of September. So we're going to have time. Stay connected. Be connected. Let's stay together. Final thoughts, Donald. Stay together. And, we'll go to candy. and please don't forget 31. Start 31. your business, grow your business, invest in your business, but invest in black business yes. throughout this Tampa Bay region. 31. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for having me on Thank the show. You. Thank Much you love. For joining us and make sure that you're in view. So that that's our, perfect. Oh, let's move this Thank forward. you so. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much move for having HBO. me. Thank you so much for having me, Cheryl. Because you DSI. did double duty. Oh you yes. Were rushing to get here. DSI Black Pages. Uh, check out our website, Black Business Bus Tour Florida dot com. Awesome. I have to always say K one. Make sure that's my K one. Make <laughs> sure that the website is always tight and right. 
check it out. Yes. Go to the event page, and you can reserve your seats there. There's a lot of footage, a lot of information. If you don't know what the Black Business Bus Tour is, and I get that a whole lot. I even get some sometime from people what do you mean by support so mm. you can take oh, wow. oh yeah go over to the website black business bus tour florida.com 813-394-6363 and seats are still available so i'm going 31 ain't 31, that the truth 31 31 31 so we'll see you all on the 31st to those of you that have been listening in we say thank you oh my gosh hey marvin you know one of our biggest supporters hey michelle oh and there's another michelle oh michelle b patty got to holler at her on last saturday we thank you all it takes all of us to make this happen the village so we look for the village seeing you on the 31st the power of 31 peace out